Hey everybody, Pookie TVX. Forgive me for it being so dark. I'm on the back porch smoking. And I know I need to quit, I know. But um This is the piggyback off my homeboy's video. He made one and crazy is that I was gonna make the same one. So it's gonna be like a continuation, I guess. Shout out Humble King. Okay, so it goes, this is for um, Kaepernick and Stephen A. Smith. Okay, Kaepernick, no, you did not sell out. You got your fucking money without playing football. And the niggas that saying you sold out, them niggas is the sellouts. You took a knee and nobody followed behind you for the own struggle of their own culture. They let you get ran through the ringer instead of joining forces because that's what niggas can't do. Just like this Gucci shit. It's not going to last. T.I. talking about three months. What the fuck is three months going to do? But I'm not going to go there on that part. Okay, so. Cap, you did the right thing, brother. You did the right fucking thing. You stood up for what you believed in. And you won on it. In your own way, you won on it. Without having to hit the football field. That's that's uh, that's a, a greatness in itself, man. Everybody else sold out. Down to to the last form, and they sold out. You took a stand. And you stuck, and, and the crazy thing, you stuck to it. Even when they offered you a deal, you said you still going to kneel. That's some, that's some Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X type shit. Where nothing you can offer me is going to stop me from doing what I feel is right. Point fucking blank. Point blank. Everybody that got something to say or talk about he sold out or he did this and he did that fuck them fuck them they didn't risk their money they didn't risk their wealth they didn't risk their fortune they didn't risk their families for un for injustice they didn't do that they sucked it up and started shucking and fucking jiving for them that's what they did they sucked it up and kept shucking and jiving for them. Because we all know if black people came together, we could shut this motherfucker down. But guess what? It's not going to happen. It didn't happen in the fucking 60s. It didn't happen in the fucking 50s. It didn't happen in the fucking 70s. Because it's always going to be that house, nigga. You see what I'm saying? It's always going to be that house, nigga. And that's the reason why we can't get to where we need to get to. It's always going to be that Omar Johnson. Yes, I'm throwing it out there. It's always going to be a nigga like that. It's going to be a nigga like Polite. It's all going to be like, I don't call him Brother Polite. I call him Polite. It's always going to be a nigga like that, man. Anywhere you fucking go, that's why we can't stand together. That's why we can't unify. Because niggas sell out for the fucking money. Point intended for Floyd Mayweather. He, 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 let, he let you know right there how niggas think and how they act. They can be bought. Stephen A. I never liked you. I think you a sucker. I think you a coon for the fucking basketball people. And I don't even know where you... What you study books and study people, watch people play all your fucking life and think you can just say some shit? Why the fuck this man got to break down his bank account for your dumb um, coat of sack having has hair? Huh? Why? Got that big ass roundabout in your shit and you trying to fucking say some shit. Niggas is tired of hearing your goddamn mouth. You're going to get slapped. You're going to get punched in your motherfucking esophagus, nigga. Talking all that shit. 
Always got something to say. That's why that white boy be roasting your ass when he be on there. Fucking sucker ass nigga. And, and, you ain't, and the Knicks ain't going nowhere, bruh. I'm sorry. Shout out to New York. I ain't mean to disrespect, but goddamn, we, we know that. Cap, man, you did the right thing, brother. You did the right thing. You stuck to what you believe in, and you took it all the way. It's just like a nigga taking it, instead of taking the plea deal, you took it all the way to the box. Same thing, brother. Everybody else sold out. They supported the NFL. They didn't want to jeopardize their fucking money. They didn't want to jeopardize their money for their kids and their kids' children's future. Make that work. Shit's crazy, man. So, anybody talking that Kaepernick shit, he sold out shit, man. Fuck you. Nigga, point blank. Everybody knew that man was getting blackballed. All the, all the superstars, all they had to do was hold out. One month. You know how much the NFL, NBA, if you hold out one fucking month? You know how much fucking respect you'll get? Oh, man, you niggas are stupid, man. You know how... Congratulations, Cap. You did your thing, man. Fuck what anybody got to say, nigga. They wasn't there when you was fucking going through your struggle. They wasn't there when you was going to auditions for different teams and they kept slamming the fucking door on your face because you wouldn't fucking kneel. Or stop kneeling. Fuck that shit, man. Them niggas wasn't riding behind you. They can say all that shit they want and wear a fucking cap shirt to make them feel better. But they didn't do what they were supposed to do. See, us, the mediocre people, we don't have the power. We don't have the money to do that. We're not in the NBA. We're not in the NFL. But if the head motherfuckers would have did what they were supposed to do, you know, the motherfucking... Who? The motherfucking Dax. The motherfucking... Any black fucking player in the NFL or NBA, if they would have just hold it back a month or two, you would have got justice. But they wouldn't do that, would they? But they damn sure gonna talk some shit about you selling out. Fuck them. And fuck everything they stand for, because it ain't about shit. They stand for the fucking mighty dollar. Point blank. Cap, I salute you, brother. I'm glad you won your little, your little uh, lawsuit against them people. And keep doing what you're doing, man. And stay sucker free. Stay sucker free. And Stephen A., get that fucking cul-de-sac together, nigga.